Soludo comment is a message to iPod. Welcome to the news, and thank you for tuning in to listen. In the end, Soludo had more votes than the PDP and APC put together. Now the news in detail. In his acceptance speech, Daily Post reports that he remembered that three policemen who were murdered by the unknown gunmen who attacked his campaign team in March. In the end, people are happy in Anambra. There is hope. Many folks are jumping around claiming ownership of this victory. That is good. This is what the IPOB and their followers had tried to truncate. It is good many of those who chair the unknown gunmen are chairing Suludu. It simply shows they are ignorant, confused. But this is a lesson for the indigenous people of Biafra, I Pope. The idea that Fulani oppressors will not allow the people to elect their preferred candidate into political offices in Igbo land is nonsense. The indigenous people of Biafra, I Pope, should stop looking for power through the back door. They should forsake violence. They should pick an endorse candidate and get this person to push the agenda. They can see the legislations of the five states in 2023, but that will mean bringing out development ideas and policies rather than spewing sentimental, sentimental conspiracy theories. That will mean contesting for hearts and minds rather than issuing fatwas. That will mean disembarking from the high horse of supremacy, stooping and pers- prostrating themselves before the electorate. That will mean preaching love and unity instead of hate and war. It is easier to issue thoughtless decrees from foreign countries than to tell those in Oboko how their slum can be gentrified. When you want to win votes, you would want to be seen to be conscious of the Wayak timetable and needs of school children. The truth is Soludo's coming is a message to IPOB. And if he must achieve, that he must begin to build bridges. Anambra is a component of Nigeria, hence he should see how he could make his party have inroads in the entire southeast so that he could stand a better chance to negotiate when the opportunity comes. AD, AC, ACN, and the southwest is a case study. Okay, um, this one, huh. I don't really know the idea behind this. Neither do I know the message this person is trying to pass. Sincerely. The message is not clear. If the writer is uh, available, I would have told him to use clear terms in English because this one, you know, it is going front, then all of a sudden it started going back, then all of a sudden, you know. But nevertheless, of course, um, I am cheering the Anambra, the Anambra people for their ruggedness. Ruggedness in the same that they spite how tense the environment was, they spite the presence of one million and one security personnel, they spent the very choky environment, they still went and casted their vote, showing who they wanted. They were not being manipulated into doing it. I mean for the very for a very long time, you know, in the South is this has been very like it has been long like the memory of a free and fair election is now dim, but now it has been revived. Kudos to Ndenambra for making their choice. The people made their choice. So the choice now is Soludo. I just hope that he will come in and turn things, you know. If things are good, he makes things better. And if things are better, he makes them best. You know, that he gives us all into serving the state as in his capacity. He reaches out to make sure that no particular local government area is left out. He looks and he he sidelines or removes every trace of, you know, nepotism and preferitism. And he ensures that, you know, the rule of law comes to stay in the state. He he ensures that he he, he that he he does he challenges status quo at the end of the day and at the end of his tenure. Anambra State will be in a very better place than it is now. So, um, it is kudos to Anambra State because, <laughs> I tell you, in some places, people will not come out with this heavier mode personnel. Yes, for the for 
for for you to have such a personnel security i mean security operatives you know hanging around and yet you know people come out and make their choice it is like kudos to them kudos to them even though a lot of things happen we heard there was burn ballot snatching we do not know how true we had some you know news here and there but at the end of the day it was really free and fair so we'll, we'll, we'll say kudos to the INEC body and kudos to the people who came out because let me tell you these people what these people want you to believe is that they want you to believe that you do not have the power to vote they want you to believe that you do not um have the right to make decisions that is going to effect change that is what they want you to believe they want you to believe that at the end of the day your vote does not matter meanwhile it indeed matter think about it if your doors do not you I mean your votes do not matter or do not count why then will you think the rig elections you know the rig elections and do all sort of things to make sure that people vote for them so um saludo congratulations once again and i pray that your tenor is going to this this um chairs and laughter now that the faces of Anambra people will not, you know, wear off anytime soon. That that um, you are going to use your good office to address issues that have not been addressed, and you are going to do, you know, something really, really remarkable for the Anambra people because every state deserves the best. Every state deserves the best. So we pray that um, it's it the best is given to Anambra people. You know, for those, it is too early. For this particular write-up, it is too early to start instigating, you know. No, no, no. This should not be done. This should not be done. Soludo is even yet to be. He has not been even handed the power yet. The power of the, the governorship, the mandate of governorship is still with the present governor, Willie Obiano. And I know that come 2022, it is going to be handed over to him. So it is too early to start instigating, you know. Sincerely, it is too early and this is not what an Umbra or an Iberians need right now. What they need is, you know, let them have this chair, cheerful attitude towards life that, yes, it has happened that they have voted and their vote really, really did count. That is the most important thing. So... They're hoping that this particular choice they make, that at the end of the day, this choice is a very wonderful one and brings them, you know, more laughters and more cheers. That at the end of the day, they can boldly say, oh, um, we want him again. Yes, there is nothing sweet than, you know, you come in a place and you are chaired, you are selected for a position and you do so beautiful well, beautifully well. That those that place you in the position before, even before you even say Jack Robinson, they want you to stay again. That will mean like you did your job and you, you know, you even surpassed the capacity. So I pray that happens. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.